So what is this? Well, let me explain. So this battery I found actually sitting over there. Um, I pulled the plugs out to put it in that other battery. The other battery leaked. So now I figured I'll give it a try. Let me see if this battery even holds a charge. So put some distilled water in it, and I put it on charge overnight. Nothing. Um, put it on charge another night. Still nothing. I got back from vacation and I realized, oh my god, I left it on. Came back, and this is the charge it's holding. This is a 24 volt motor, so it won't sound real powerful. But it sounds normal for running on 12 volts. Look at that kick. So where the hell did that come from? I have no clue, but I had this battery sitting overnight, and it still had the same charge on it. So I'm wondering if this battery may work better than the other. I think it just ran out of uh, acid. The battery just kind of dried up. And this one, on the other hand, I have no clue. Uh, this is that other LT80 battery. But I'm like a battery mechanic. <laughs> Yet I'm not too good with motorcycle batteries and stuff. But if this battery can hold a full charge and stuff. Maybe this battery will just need to sit on for a long time. So, this is good. Let me show you uh, a normal 12 volt battery. Damn it. Who freaking latches these doors? Ah, oh, sorry for being so shaky. This is the other battery. It doesn't keep a charge. We'll throw this one on. It's because it ran totally out of acid and I think it damaged the plates. But you can see here, it's the seal in between here that's shot, so I'm hoping the other battery will hold a charge. Uh, good enough so I can put that one in, because the other one I know doesn't leak. My dad would be kind of surprised, because that battery was in his motorcycle, and that battery sat probably close to 10 years without, just sat 10 years, just dried up and stuff, so it's kind of like a miracle that it's working. As you can see, it's getting off sparks, so that way we know it's getting contact in between. As you can see, it's moving. Not much, though. But this one didn't move at all. So, I'm going to take that cap off the other ones, put the cap back in, and throw this battery in. And see, maybe that'll start my uh, four-wheeler for me.